Hello everyone watching currently. The name's John and today I'm going to be talking about something that a lot of people are worried about these days. Voter fraud. That's right. Fat Hipster's going to talk about voter fraud today. Back in 2004 there was a presidential election. And that election ended up with a winner who many thought didn't win fairly because of some voter fraud and things that were happening um, taking away votes from what people thought were a legitimate winner of course I'm talking about the South Korean president of Czech serial election in that election there were two candidates Czechy and Chaka Czechy represented the Double Chocolate Party, while Chaka represented the Green Onion Party. There was an online vote. Many people cast their vote for Chaka the Green Onion. He had an amazing lead, and then all of a sudden, votes were taken away. They added more ways to vote, calling in the vote, mailing in the vote. We all know how terrible mail-in votes can be. And, in the end, they announced Checky, the Double Chocolate Checks cereal, as the winner. Many people were angry. The capital of Czechs wasn't insurrected, though. People weren't that angry. But they did say things online and make memes about it. And for 16 years, people have been wondering... Where did Chaka go? Where is my green onion checks that I voted for so long ago? Well, guess what? Checks of South Korea has brought it back. Well, brought it for the first time. That's right. Kellogg's limited edition green onion checks. And I have a box right in front of me. This is made with real green onions, by the way. And uh, I'm sorry if I confused any of you in the beginning, thinking that this wasn't a food review. It is. This is a limited edition South Korean green onion checks. And uh, I, I did think it was funny that the uh, current news situation kind of applied here. Sorry for triggering you. But uh, anyway, we're going to pour a bowl of this green onion checks. Taste it. See what the big deal is about it. Um, look how shiny this box is. Other countries do do things better than the United States sometimes. Packaging is one of them. Inside, you'll see. I opened this all already, by the way. It's a foil type plastic -y bag instead of the clear type plastic bag. Um, if you look at this little picture here in the corner, it gives you instructions kind of how to close it up and stuff. And I'll go over that a little bit later. But one thing they did uh, suggest was taping this, so that's why I have tape here. The smell is really cereally, not really oniony. It's sticking it's already. Okay. Put back in the box. It's already unraveling. The cool thing another cool thing about this box. There's two way to close it. Two ways to close it. You have you know, your your tab up here. You're familiar with that if you've had cereal. You fold it into the top. It seals like that, but also on the sides of this box, there's little indentations that you can fold on both sides, like that. And if you fold this correctly, 
Hopefully I'll do that. You can fold and close it like that. They say this, uh, the translation on the, the direction says that this makes it stay fresher. I don't know why. But it looks cool. Um, I'm going to have uh, one of them dry before I add milk to it. Very green oniony is the flavor. You don't get any oniony smell. You get a lot of oniony taste. Now I'm going to pour some milk into my bowl with this randomly chosen cup that I got out of the cupboard. And I'll just hold it here so for no reason. And I'll pour the milk. I had to put it in a cup because I didn't know setting it up how long I was going to have it sitting here in milk. I didn't want to get it too soggy, you know. Soggy cereal is terrible. I think it'll all wet though. Here we go. Green onion checks. There is a a sweetness to these as well. It's weird because I feel like I'm not supposed to like it, but I weirdly do. When I taste them dry, I thought, this is going to be weird as a cereal to mix with milk and eat out of a bowl. But I do think the green onion checks would be really good in like a mix, like a Chex mix with some pretzels in there whatnot. Because it has this, green onion has a, a savory flavor to it, so I think it would work well in a mix like that. I'm surprised at how much I like it in the middle. I don't think I don't think a majority of people would agree with me though. I'm just trying to eat this quicker so they don't turn to mush. They're getting less and less crunchy as I eat them. Maybe I should have poured myself a smaller bowl for this video. Okay, finish. Green onion checks. As we all know, making things, uh, online voting for, for different things, typically never goes well for companies. I'm sure everyone remembers the Bodie McBoke face incident, as well as some other ones that I won't say for fear of ruining my channel. But uh, let's just say that certain dictators' uh, names were brought up. 
but uh, I don't know. I like it by itself or with milk. I thought uh, it would be stranger than it is, but the strange thing is how much I think it works out. Um, this I have bought on Amazon. I've seen it on Amazon. I've seen it on eBay. There's still some floating around out there if you're interested. Um, Chaka Checks, President, 2004. I think uh, people voted for him because they thought it was funny. But the funny thing is, they should have voted for him because it tastes good. And I'm going to give the green onion checks an 8.5 out of 10. That's how much I like it. I'm going to see if the milk tastes like green onion, too. It does. Green onion milk. Oddly satisfying. Alright. I'm going to go breathe in a few people's faces. And see if they can smell green onion. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know if you've tried. The green onion. Chaka checks. And uh, that's it. We'll see you later. Bye.